Assalamu alaikum. How are you all? This is Izvana Mukhtar, lecturer, Department of Physics. I hope you all are well and safe at your home. Today I am going to take an online class of Chapter 3, Force. In today's lecture, I am going to discuss a few comprehensive questions and I will solve a CQ question. I hope this class will help you. Our first question is, what do you mean by force 20 Newton? You know that the external cause which change or tends to change the state of a matter is called force. And from Newton's second law, we know that F equals to Ma. So now we can say that if an object of 20 kg accelerated 1 meter per second square, then we can say that it's 20 Newton force exerted on that object. That is 20 kg meter per second square equals to 20. Our second question, what do you mean by the momentum of a body 100 kg meter per second? Momentum. Momentum means the product of mass and velocity. And we know that momentum is denoted by P. So P equals to mv so momentum 100 kg meter per second means a object of 100 kg moves with 1 meter per second velocity is called momentum 100 kg meter per second now third question impulse of force is equal the change of momentum you know that from Newton's second law, F equals to Ma. And A means V minus U by T. Now we can write that F dot T equals to M V minus U. Or F T equals to mv minus mu. Impulse of force. We know that the product of force and time is called impulse of force which is denoted by j. So we can now write that j equals to ft that is mv minus mu. Here you can see that mv that means final momentum and mu means initial momentum. So we can say that that Impulse of force is equal to change of momentum. Impulse of force 30 Newton second. What do you mean by that? You know that impulse of force that is J equals to Ft. That means 30 Newton force is applied on an object for 1 second is called impulse of force 30 Newton second. Now question number 5. G equals to 6.673 into 10 inverse 11 Newton meter square per kg square. What do you mean by that? You know that capital G is the universal constant which comes from Newton's law of gravitation. And from Newton's law of gravitation, we know that F equals G M1 M2 by R square. That means two objects of mass m1 and m2 are kept at the distance of r so that the force between these two objects is directly proportional to the mass of the to the product of the mass of this object and inversely proportional to the square of the distance of these two objects. And if m1 equals to 1 kg and m2 equals to 1 kg and the distance between these two bodies will be 1 meter then we can write down that f equals to g 1 into 1 by 1 square that is f equals to g. So now we can say that if two objects of having unit mass are kept at the distance of 1 meter then these two objects will feel 6.673 into 10 inverse Newton force that is 
called universal constant. Now, question number six. Why the passengers lean backward when a stationary bus suddenly start? This is happen only for inertia. You know that that of every object wants to maintain its own state, which is known as inertia. And there's two type of inertia. One is inertia of rest, and another one is inertia of motion. But when the passengers start to lean backward, this happened due to the inertia of rest. When a bus is at rest position, that means the passengers on the bus are also remaining at the rest position. But when the, when the bus starts to move, the lower part of the passengers which is attached with the bus starts to move. But the upper part remains to stationary. That's why when the bus starts to move, the upper part of the passengers lean backward. I hope you understand it. Our next question is, why the fan doesn't stop immediately when the fan is switched off? Here is also the reason of inertia. Here, inertia due to motion is happened. You know that that when uh, we switched off the fan, the, the blade of the fan doesn't stop immediately because before switching off the fan, fans were moving. And when we switch off the fan, the blades were remains to maintain its own position of motion. That's why the fan doesn't stop immediately. It takes time to stop. So, due to inertia of motion, the fan doesn't stop immediately when the switch of Question number 8. Friction. A necessary evil. Explain. You know that when an object move another object, then the resistive force which occurred between, this, between the surface of these two objects is known as friction. Due to friction, many Due to friction, we have to face so many difficulties such as the machineries or the objects which have moving parts due to friction heat up so that we have to spend excess fuel to overcome it. Due to friction, the sole of your shoes wear and tear out. Due to friction, we face so many difficulties but for friction, we can work on the road. We, you can write down or you can use paper and pencil properly due to the friction and also we can stop the motion of a car or any vehicle due to friction. So we can say that as friction has difficulties as well as it is beneficial for our day to day life. That's why friction is called a necessary evil. Now CQ question. The question is, due to applying force upon a toy car of weight 3.92 Newton, it starts to move with an acceleration 0.5 meter per second square on the floor, where frictional force is 0.5 Newton. Our question number C is, calculate the force acting upon the car. So, firstly we write down the given information here. Here, first information is that weight of the toy car, weight of car is, you know that weight is denoted by W, W equals to 3.92 Newton. Now the acceleration is 0 0.52. Acceleration A equals to 0 0.5 meter per second square. And frictional force. Frictional force. Frictional force F k equals to 0 0.5 newton and the course in the question you see that they want calculate the force acting force <coughs> acting force 
और फोर्स एफ इक्स टू वट सो बिफोर फाइंडिंग द एक्टिंग फोर्स वी वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट द मैथ ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट बिकॉज वी डोंट नो द मैथ ऑफ दैट ऑब्जेक्ट सो वी नो डब्ल्यू इक्स टू एम जी दैट मीन्स एम इक्स टू डब्ल्यू बाई जी हेज डब्ल्यू इज थ्री पॉइंट नाइन टू एंड जी वी नो द वैल्यू ऑफ जी इज नाइन पॉइंट एट सो बाई कैलकुलेटिंग इट वी यू गेट जीरो पॉइंट फाइव जीरो पॉइंट फोर के जी एंड वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द एक्टिंग फोर्स यू नो दैट अगेन वी नो दैट एक्टिंग फोर्स दैट इज एफ इक्स टू इफेक्टिव फोर्स प्लस फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स दिस इक्वेशन इज फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स दैट इज एफ के वैल्यू इज गिवेन हेयर एंड एफ प्राइम वी नो दैट एफ इक्स टू एम ए सो instead of f prime we can write down f equals to ma so now we know the value of m is 0.4 and acceleration 0.5 plus frictional force the value of frictional force is also 0.5 by calculating it you will get result 0.7 newton so the acting force on the toy car is 0.7 newton so now the question number d will you get any change in acceleration due to the frictional and friction less floor explain mathematically so here from c we get acting force एफ इक्स टू जीरो पॉइंट सेवन न्यूटन मैथ एम इक्स टू जीरो पॉइंट फोर के जी एंड हेयर यू कैन सी दैट द एसेलरेशन इज गिवेन जीरो पॉइंट फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वेयर दिस एसेलरेशन इज फॉर फ्रिक्शनल फ्लोर सो वी कैन राइट दैट द एसेलरेशन ऑफ acceleration of frictional floor frictional floor a equals to 0.5 meter per second square now we have to identify the acceleration of friction less floor acceleration of friction less floor a prime equals to what always remember that the acceleration of friction less floor always come from the acting force so we know that the value of acting force is 0.7 now we know a equals to m a prime a prime i used a prime because we are going to identify the frictionless acceler the acceleration of frictionless floor which is a prime so a prime equals to f by m here's the f value of f is 0.7 and the value of m is 0.4 so by calculating it you will get 1.75 meter per second square 